I'm a very happy camper with Qt, and like uh, it buys us a hell of a lot. Um, yeah, like, uh, like it, it tends to be one of the strongest uh, like uh, components that I get to work with on a daily basis. If I wasn't using QML, I'd be trying to implement something like QML, only it would be nowhere near as polished or as like, useful. So um, the, the amount of time spent is actually, yeah, we have an incredibly small team and we actually managed to produce a very polished looking application. And uh, yeah, of course, like, like, the time savings are immense in that regard. Like it would not have been feasible to do this without QML. We tend to actually win a hell of a lot with the actual Qt releases. Things like the actual Qt Quick Compiler uh, gave us immediate returns in our application. So just by actually like, following lockstep with the Qt releases, we actually win a lot of functionality and a, a lot of gains. It benefits us immensely to actually have such a finger-friendly UI, and Qt makes that very achievable. Without QML, without the, the larger Qt functionality, it would be very tricky achieving what we have achieved and actually producing things to the same time frames and the same time constraints. It would have been a very, very daunting proposition. Uh, there's a lot of things we'd want to do with it. Uh, there's a lot of experimentation that we can actually do and things that we can actually try out. I mean, the, there is basically no limiting factor on us right now from a software perspective as to what we can and can't do. So it's just us, us responding to our market and to what people actually want. There isn't really no technical consideration of, there's no, no like sense of limitation in what we can and can't do. It does not exist right now.